right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Vlogmas episode eight. Is it really eight already? Holy shit. Yeah. Today I'm going to be taking you guys. <laughs> Come on, don't pick yourself apart. Today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through one of my leg days, and John is gonna be recording me. So yeah, there's really not much else to it other than it's three o'clock. It's a Thursday. Mm. Vibes are low. It looks a little busy in here. But I'm gonna get it done regardless. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> Have a rest day. Mm hmm This is honestly what I consider my hardest leg day of the week. It just like takes takes a lot out of me. So I'm gonna take you guys through it, give you some cues to focus on, some of my tips, and yeah, that's Wait, really it. Pendulum squat. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. And also, we were gonna use mics today because we bought mics like a few months ago and we just haven't used them yet. But they weren't charged up enough, so maybe next time. <laughs> I'm raw dogging it. Yeah, but I've done a video at the gym before and I just kind of turned down the background music and it was fine. So, so hopefully you guys can hear me all right today, but we'll make it work. Stop laughing. We're really excited. We're excited. I'm excited. I'm really not feeling this. Kaylin is the best. Kaylin is the best. All we right. should strap it up here. I'll see you guys in the gym. Love you. Bye. Hit the button. I'm warming up really quick, so I always just start out by foam rolling a little bit. Just because I sit all day with my job, I feel like my lower back gets really, really tight. And then I just roll out my glutes a little bit. Um, and then I just float through some like just lower body movements to open up my hips and just get everything nice and primed. Really, really important. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. Start with pendulum squats. I use your, oh my gosh. This is gonna be a nightmare with audio, <laughs> but we're gonna try to get through it. Okay, starting with pendulum squat. A few months ago, I was doing hack squat and then I just recently transitioned over to this and I really, really enjoy it. So just gonna start with no weight and just slowly work up in my warm up sets. doing these I have more of like a narrow stance because I really want to target my quads in this not like a high and wide stance that would be more so for my glutes and hamstrings and just thinking of pushing my back into the pad is really really important also don't crank your neck like down or up um, just staying nice and neutral keeping your core tight and just really like slowing these down is so important because you can use a ton of momentum and bounce out of the whole of these but then you're kind of losing a lot of the tension that's in your quads. So that's my main couple tips. But these are just honestly so challenging. Like I don't do a ton of weight, but I'm so humbled by these. But I'm just gonna do like one more warm up set and then start my working sets. Okay, I'm gonna do my first working set, which is my top set. So the heaviest weight I'm gonna do today um, till failure. I'm gonna have John spot me, so the camera angle is not gonna be like ideal. But I have my belt on, my knee sleeves on. 
because it helps a lot. It helps keep my joints warm and it helps me brace my core a little bit more and not have to focus on it a ton more when I am moving a little bit heavier of weight. So yeah, let's get into this top set. Should I just add more weight? Yeah. Okay, like a 10? 10. 10, yeah, that's good. You're strong like bull. Um, I'm not gonna be able to carry anything. Okay. So you think I need, you think I have like another up? Just like throw it in front of my chicken. How'd it feel? It was good. It was PR. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I don't know though. Oh. The past few weeks, John hasn't been here with me when I do this leg day, so I never have a spot. But I feel like when you spotted oh. me, I did. I feel like I might have done that weight. Yeah, you might have. I can't remember. But I got seven reps. Yeah. The goal is usually like eight to 12, but I'll just keep working it up. But yeah, and now I'm just gonna take a little bit of weight off and then go for a little bit of a higher rep range till failure again. I'm still such a pussy. <laughs> Kenzie Vance, if you're watching this, mm -hmm. fuck you. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Kenzie's out here literally penduluming five 15 plates. plates. Yeah. One yeah. day, mate. One day, mate. All right, that's it for pendulum. What's next? Next, I'm going to do Bulgarians. Right on. I do my front foot elevated Bulgarian split squats. So I just stand on a plate with my front foot. And all I'm gonna do is just do normal Bulgarians. But when I elevate my front foot, it helps me target my quads a little bit more in my opinion. The main focus of the movement is making sure like my knees are going over my toes rather than like sitting into my back leg. Cause that's gonna target more of your hamstrings and glutes. So really thinking about driving your knees over your toes if you want a little bit more quad involvement. So I'm just gonna do a warm up set really quick. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do my first working set. So this is my top set. As you can see, this is the common theme. There's a top set and a back off set. That's how I train. If you don't wanna train like that, don't. You can do your own rep ranges, your own sets, but this is how I do it. And if you wanna try it out, then cool. But I'm gonna do my top set. I'm going for a 70 today. I think I've done that the past two weeks, but I'm hoping to get more reps this week, which is always like the goal. It's either more reps or pushing more weight or even just focusing on tempo a little bit harder. But I use uh, Versa Grips on these always, just cause it relieves a little bit of um, grip strength and allows you just to like hold on for a few more reps, I think. So 
I really recommend lifting straps or anything like a row movement, RDLs, Bulgarians, but let's get into it. Insane. People will like the real version, the realest version of you. You're so funny and sometimes you just hide it. Heart drops up now. I had to take like a three minute break after that one. You yeah. know, a lot of people are always like, how long should I be resting, Kaylin? And I'm like, just feel the vibes out, but also yeah. don't be like extremely lazy and on your phone for 10 minutes, you know? Like read the room, scan your body, then assess. But I feel like for like compound movements, like a Bulgarian or a pendulum half squat, like take a little bit more time so you can give your next set really good effort. But something like accessory movements, like on a machine, um, cables, you can take a little bit less rest. How's the lighting? Yo, you look pretty. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Oh, I got my fly away. New growth <laughs> coming in. Anyways, okay, <laughs> I'm going to do leg extensions. I was supposed to do this at the beginning of the lift, but they were both taken, so I just hopped right into pendulums. But if you can, start with leg extensions. It just gets a good flow going to your knees and everything. Keeps nice, everything nice and warm. I'm having a stroke again. <laughs> You're fine. Great for me. All right, let me do a warm-up set. When I'm doing leg extensions, I'm always thinking of pulling my back and just my ass, my ass into the seat. Like you just need to stay nice and tight. Don't be like touching your quads. Like you need to stay pulled into the machine, and it's gonna help you force out like the last few reps as well. But I like to point my toes lately. Like a ballerina. For every rep, really try to hold the top of the movement and then resist the weight down. You shouldn't just be flinging that weight up. You really should feel your quads pulling the weight up, not your knee joints. No, no, no. Use your muscles to genuinely pull up the weight. You'll feel a world of difference and you'll have the quads of your dreams. Right, John? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
my working set now because I'm already warm as hell. I don't need to be doing a bunch of warm-up stuff. That's a wrap on like extensions. Also like good indicator of whether you're like pushing tilt failure or pretty damn close. Like your last few reps should always be significantly slower or they should be like par partial reps like that, you know? So I really recommend always recording your sets when you can to give yourself a little form check and just be like, am I going slow enough on this movement? Am I pushing tilt failure? It really, really helps. Yeah. <laughs> About to end. No, I still have two more exercises left. I have to do two more exercises. I have cable kickbacks and glute hyperextensions. So just finishing with a little bit more glute work. This was a pretty quad focus leg day for me. If you go back on my YouTube channel though, I have like a, or I have a hamstring and glute focus day and another kind of hamstring and glute focus day. So definitely check out those. But I'm gonna do my cable kickbacks. Okay, before I do the other leg, I was just gonna say just why I do the crossover cable behind my foot. It helps like elongate the motion. So I get like a better overall just range of motion and then contraction at the top. I don't know. Try it out, test it out, see how it feels. Kicked my ass and I swear my ass is growing, right John? Yeah, I mean, you should put the, just quickly put in the little side-by-side, -side, throw it on the screen, the side-by-side -side from last year to it's oh yeah, like my posing yeah, pictures. Just yeah, just like, And this really hits your upper glute, which is what I need a lot of. My upper glute like starts halfway down my ass. <laughs> and that's not what we want. So don't neglect the upper glute. You look like Darth Vader, man. Okay, last movement of the day is gonna be glute hyperextensions. On these, I like to go a little bit lighter and just really, really focus on hitting that upper glute. So 
The main thing I focus on in these is keeping my chin tucked to my chest and my back rounded, and that's gonna hit your upper glute rather than like your lower back. So I'm gonna do a set with just no weight and just get a good feel for it. Okay, so for hyperextensions, same exact deal as everything else, just a top set and a back off set. On these, like I could use, I feel like I could go heavier and I could do more reps, but once my lower back starts to take over and my glutes aren't doing the work anymore, I'm done. Like, we're not doing that. So <laughs> I just did one set and I'm gonna do one more. Yes. And then I just end this workout with a little bit of core work, but I'm not gonna film that today, maybe another day. But yeah, I'm just gonna do one more set and that will be, this full leg day. gonna wrap up today's little leg day hope you guys enjoyed me walking through this hope you got some pointers that you can implement into your next session it actually was a really really good session as much as I did not want to do that before I came in and was feeling like so so low energy I feel a lot better now and shout Yours. out to yeah yeah that was actually like my strength was like on point today so good, baby. that was exciting shout out to John for recording Tomorrow's game plan is to record a YouTube video for him because Mr. John is missed on the YouTube. So we're going to get right. It's been like two months or something. Like I think that. it's been longer. <laughs> Three months. Yeah. But 2024, I we got to shape up. Anyways, but really good lift today. Try it out. Let me know how it goes for you. Tag me in a story or whatever. Comment down below if you try it out. I'm going to leave the full workout in my caption as well for this video so if you need to bring it into the gym go ahead and do that but this is gonna wrap up vlogmas episode eight and i will see you guys in the next one love you bye